and then really darken it up. And get it from this side as well. And I'll, I'll show you why I want this so dark in a minute. I want to try and create some light. Really get that nice and dark. Right again. bits coming down the pipe, I just want to sort these out first. Just redo those. Just redo these again. See, there's no real rules to watercolour, it's basically just. You can just keep going at it, take it off, stick it on, do whatever you want really. A bit darker up there. Right. Let's see how we get on with that. Let's give it a quick dry. It took a bit too much out actually, looking at it. I'll see how I get on. I meant to leave it a bit darker at the bottom of the sky, but it doesn't matter. I'll see how, I'll see how I get on with this. Just give that a little bit of a little bit of sun on. In days of overdoing this, quite careful if I haven't already done so. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and create some uh, light. Imagine the sun behind the, uh, these dark clouds and you've got the light, shafts of light coming down. That's why I should have had it a bit darker down there. I only meant to take out a lighter area across there. But not so worry. Now, I'm just going to hold this ruler and take... I don't think you can sleep but I've actually got a... I've got a pin in the board there and I'm going to use that. You can imagine the sun's in a fixed position there because you don't want you want the light coming from the same source 
That's right, the uh throughout the process, so I'm just gonna grab just a little piece of sandpaper. Hopefully I'll be able to work with this, there's hardly any left on it. And then just come down with that. We can imagine the sun's about here somewhere. And we've got the light. I've got a curl, this is going to look like. I'm just keeping my fingers crossed. If I just redo that again, redo this. So that it try I was about to stand out a bit more. Do you know, I'm gonna go in with some of this like that. I'm still trying to get it to look right. You see the strongest tones now, I've got in the wrong place. Generally try and get your strongest tones in the in the foreground. Yeah. I think I'm gonna leave it at that for now. It's not um it's not what I was trying to do but something. So if I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sign the bottom of that one and call it done. So not the best uh, tutorial I've ever done but you can see I was just trying to get the sort of light to come down. But I'll try and do it next time. But thanks for watching anyway. Keep practicing and I'll see you again soon.